life so they can die at the proper moment. Bring him to me. Let's find out where he is. If we find him, we can end this. I say we jump now! Suicide mission. The boy who lived. Come to die. Well, first of all, Daniel Radcliffe, uh, thank you for inviting us to New York. The big question is right now. It's the last Harry Potter, the final one. At this stage, once you've done the premiere, that's it. Yes. What is your overriding emotion right now? Um it's hard to say. I mean it. it... I suppose ultimately it's just pride because I'm so thrilled with the film. Like, I mean, I think of it as being kind of light years ahead of any of the other films in the series. And I find it amazing that we shot part one and part two at the same time because I think it's like we're different actors. Like, it's, I mean, it's, it's such a different film from part one. I mean, part one was great, but this, in terms of quality, this is the best film we've ever made. So I suppose I'm just thrilled that we're going out on this kind of positive note. Can you feel anything? <gasps> That's it. Up there. They've added the Gemino curse. Everything you touch will multiply. Give me the sword. And what are you going to miss most? I mean, now, now it's over, and once you finish the, the final film and all the press associated with that, what, what are you going to miss from being part of the biggest movie franchise of all time? Um, I mean, I suppose the thing I'll miss most is, is you know, the, the crew, really. I mean, the, the cast as well, but, you know, the, the, the crew and featured some of my best friends in the world, and we, we, we work together as that unit, and I'm sure all of us, cast and crew, will continue to work together throughout our careers, but we won't ever be together as that unit that we were then. So I'll miss that a lot. Um, I'll also miss getting to do some of the stuff that I get to do as Harry. You know, I mean, there's, there's, I, I mean, I'm not naturally, I don't think, I don't really have the natural frame and stature of, a, of an action hero. So it's kind of a gift for a young actor to be able to do all that stuff. You know, I got to, uh, do a 40-foot free fall down a roof when I was like 15 and do all the underwater stuff and like burst bursting out of the water surrounded by a ring of fire I will never get to do that again <laughs> in my career, you know, so yeah, they, I'll, I'll miss some of the opportunities playing Harry Ford you I'll set the bloody place on fire You, you've grown up both as an actor and physically on screen. When you look back and, and watch yourself, in, in, especially in the first couple of movies, as, as little you, what do you think? <laughs> um, it's very strange. When there, I, 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 we did a, um, a screening of the film over here, it was kind of merciless, the fact that when all these images of me as a little kid came up, that, oh, <laughs> it kind of is sad, because I'm not that little, innocent, lovely little thing anymore. But. Um, uh, you know, it's it's sort of just nostalgic and weird, but I I'm I'm very as I, as I said proud. Harry, did you hear it? Hear what? That voice. Voice? What voice? I heard it first in Lockhart's office, and then again just. It's moving. I think it's going to kill. Kill? Harry, wait! Not so fast. Strange. I've never seen spiders act like that.
if you look at the visual effects, but to, just the jump between one and two in the quality of the visual effects is huge. And it's, it's, we were kind of all finding our feet, both cast and, and you know, the director, Chris Columbus, was land, saddled with the biggest film franchise in the world, and he had to start it all off. And uh, it wasn't an easy job, but he, he did a fantastic job on it. And um, yeah, so I mean, it's, it's, it's just very peculiar when you see photos of yourself and footage of yourself from that age. But it's, I'm sure I'll be learning to live with it for a long time. I'm sure I'll see those images. Merlin's beard, which is perfect. It's great that you're proud of the final film, though. I mean, yeah. it, it, it's fantastic. It's great, isn't it? It's... Oh, I was just so happy with it. I was all, when the, the moments when Hogwarts starts coming to life, even I was like, I who was there and, you know, I saw the, those shots, because those shots are the least interesting to film when, you, when you're just filming empty plates. And then suddenly you put those, those knight, those suits of armor, those knights of stone, kind of crashing to the ground and coming alive. I was just like, yes! I was so excited by it. Was it an emotional experience watching it? Yeah, it was more than any other, and not just because it's the last film in the series, but also because it is. We, I found I, I the performance that I found the most moving was Alan Rickman. I just think, and I, I've said this. Um, in interviews a lot recently and I'll keep saying it because I do think it's the film performance of his career like he's I, I don't think any I mean I, 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 I think he should get nominations for, for best supporting actor because I just think no one's uh, it's so touching and heart-wrenching and, and and beautiful what he does it's 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 yeah I'm, I mean I'm, I'm really thrilled to share the screen with him anyone here has any knowledge of Mr. Potter's movements this evening. I invite them to step forward. Now. It seems, despite your exhaustive defensive strategies, you still have a bit of a security problem, Headmaster. And uh, finally, are you going to miss your co-stars and, and being part of that, that Potter holy trinity? Yes, absolutely, very, very much. I mean, you know, myself and Rupert and Emma have spent 10 years of our lives with each other and, uh, you know, it's been an amazing privilege to watch them both grow up and change and, you know, and, and develop so much as actors. I mean, we all have. But, but um, and, and, and not just Rupert and Emma, but also you know people like Tom Felton and, and Matthew Lewis, who comes into his own in this film, um, and, and shows us all what he's always been capable of. You know, I mean, he's we're, we've all grown up so much, and, and and we all just learnt by doing and by being around each other. So it was we fed off each other all the time. He knows we broke into Gringotts. He knows what we took, and he knows we're hunting Horcruxes. How is it you know? I saw him. You let him in? Harry, you can't do that. Hermione, I can't always help it. Well, maybe I can, I don't know. Never mind what happened. Well, he's angry and scared too. He knows if we find and destroy all the Horcruxes, we'll be able to kill him. I reckon he'll stop at nothing to make sure we don't find the rest. Oh, there's more. One of them's at Hogwarts. What? You saw it? I saw the castle. Androina Ravenclaw. It must have something to do with her. We have to go there now. What? We can't do that. We've got to plan. We've got to figure it out. Hermione, when have any of our plans ever actually worked? We plan, we get there, all hell breaks loose. I do think the bond between me and Rupert and Emma will be, is pretty unbreakable because I don't think, you know, anyone knows what it's like to go through this craziness. Um, so it's... Yeah, I mean, it's, it's, I will, I will miss them both very, very much. Tell them how it happened that night. How you looked him in the eye. A man who trusted you and killed him. I never wanted any of you to die for me. You'll stay with me. Always. Until the end.